This is Zeko3, and let's discuss a modded career mode playthrough. First thing we need to do is download some mods. We have the comprehensive Kerbal Archive network loaded up, so we have access to lots of mods. I would like this career to be more focused on airplanes and space planes. You can look over the mod list I'm downloading, but I will let you know that I'm using near future mods, several contract packs, Airplane Plus, Chatter, Better Early Tree, Community Tech Tree, Kerbin Side, and a host of visual mods. That's 78 in all, and that includes all required dependencies. If you're new to modding Kerbal Space Program, I would recommend installing CCAN. You can place mods directly into the game data folder yourself, but I find that using CCAN tends to be easier. With our mods installed, we'll load up the game and start this new career mode. First thing we need to do is pick some contracts. With our level 1 mission control building, we can pick two contracts. Let's try some easy ones, like launching our first craft into the air and collecting some science. You can see we have some additional contracts available due to the contract packs that we are downloading. The giving aircraft a purpose ones look like they're going to end up being a lot of fun to complete. If you see any contracts that you'd like me to attempt, just leave a comment below. This is a game after all, so I want you to have fun watching while I'm having fun playing. We don't have any, we don't have many parts unlocked yet, so we can go here to the vehicle assembly building and assemble some kind of basic rocket in order to get some science points early on. You can see our parts list is a little different because of the better early tree mod. I've never used it before, but how hard can it be? This isn't braid surgery, right? Let's make sure to pack this thing with lots of science. During our ascent, we'll try to gather as much science as we can. We can start on the pad, and as we ascend, we'll gather some low atmospheric science. This little rocket is a little more powerful than I was expecting. We got pretty high, but we put a parachute so we'll be able to land and recover all that good information and push our fledgling air and space program further forward. I'm using the mod Better Time Warp as well, and that has a tendency to help speed up time during boring things like parachute descents. I apparently pulled the chute maybe just a little early. With our first craft safely recovered, let's see what new contracts we can choose. There are quite a few contracts available for us, and I'm just not familiar with all of these. We could use some more science, so what's within our ability? There's a contract to gather science from different Space Center locations. All of the buildings around the Space Center are their own biome. Even if you are playing a game without mods, you can pick up a few early game science points by exploring the Space Center. And I am thinking that that's actually something that was intended by the game is just to explore the Space Center. It's kind of an interesting facility if you've never been around it before. If you have, it can get a little boring. In this case, we're going to unlock the next tech tree nodes. That's pretty good. That'll let us build a rover pretty easily. To explore around the Space Center, constructing a little rover is probably one of the best ways to go. If we put enough of each type of experiment on the rover, we don't have to worry about transmitting the data and we can actually just recover all of those science points. And we're just going to build a pretty basic rover here, batteries, solar panels, just, just enough to do the mission. And in this case, I'm going to put five of each experiment on the rover that should let us end up recovering everything. Some people, they find the early game kind of tedious. Uh, they even find it boring. I usually enjoy the challenge of the limited tech tree and the limited amount of parts, trying to see how much I can push myself and my program with the little amount that I have. Especially when you're, you're trying to reach say orbit or even reaching the Mun or Minmus with very little technology and how can I do this? How can I get enough to do the mission? In this case we're gonna pick up a few science points just driving around in these different biomes. Just trying to make it quick. It's very easy and within something we can do and enough science points. Now we still have that one mission to unlock but let's see, perhaps we can build a plane and get some more science points 
that way. Maybe this plane will help us unlock that one mission that we didn't get. Maybe that's what we need, just to launch it in the air from the runway as opposed to from the launch pad. I, I'm just not familiar with these contract packs, but that might work for us. I'm hoping so. And you know what? A little plane, that's really where I want to go anyway. So we'll make a little plane and see if we can take it around to some of these biomes on the Space Center. I, I think that'll work. And we got a few parts unlocked here. Let's make a really basic plane. We've got the Juno engine available. And I have made quite a few airplane tutorials already. So I don't think I need to go into too many details on this. The basics are the same. We want to keep the center of mass forward of the center of aerodynamic pressure. Make sure the landing gear are properly placed. We only have one control surface available to us to use that's been unlocked. So this is going to be a rather interesting looking craft. We did unlock these command chairs. Uh, that was actually a, a contract to purchase these to unlock them. So I did, and that's going to let us have a few kerbals on this thing. I need to make sure we have enough, that the landing gear are, I guess, spaced enough that this craft's going to be stable driving around the Space Center. I'm having some issues trying to balance the center of mass and the center of aerodynamic pressure. So that's what I'm doing. I'm playing around here, just making sure that this craft will be stable in flight. And it looks like we will. It's going to be maybe a little bit, maybe too maneuverable, but this will get the mission done. I've played around with the fuel settings and emptied the front tank to just keep things more balanced. And I think that is going to be sufficient for us. Let's try and take off. All right, hey, this thing flies, and not, not too bad. And we're gonna just drive around the Space Center again, like the last mission, collecting science. Although this time, I didn't have to pack extras of each experiment, because we have Bob on this craft, and he can just grab the experiments and store them on himself. So a little bit of a part saving measure there. Something new, if you haven't played Kerbal Space Program in a while, Kerbals now have mass, and that's something to take into account when you're building crafts, and especially something small and light like this, the Kerbal mass is enough to affect the performance. All right, we've, uh, we've been around the Space Center here. We've gathered some science. Let's recover and see what we can do next. We can unlock one more. Let's go for some flight. We'll unlock more on the tech tree. Not wide enough to do much else. Let's pick up a few contracts here. Looks like we've got one to launch our first airplane. Pretty sure we can do that already. And we've got another one to explore Kerbin. And this location is just south of the Space Center. So let's try building a new plane. We'll kind of work off of this basic frame and see what we can do. Here, this entirely new design is going to take advantage of some canards up front, and I'm going to have the main wing in the back. I'm adding some extra gear because I've added extra weight. But what I'm doing is I'm keeping them perfectly in line with the other set of gear so they will have the same amount of force. They'll have the weight equally distributed across all four of those. Hopefully that, hopefully this design works. We have a proper tail and rudder to put on this craft. This looks a lot like maybe a real aircraft or at least something that's gonna work a little better. I'll mess around with the settings. I like to give one control function for each of the control surfaces. I'm not quite sure what all of these parts do. We'll just throw them on, hopefully that helps. We'll throw on our same kerbals and see how this craft works. Take off. It's uh, definitely a little bit heavier than our, our first craft, I can tell. And we'll come back for the landing. And you know, these landing gear are, I think the string strength was a little too heavy. But we actually did get enough science 
that we can unlock the next uh, aircraft node, which has cockpits. So we're gonna try an entirely new design with parts from the Aircraft Plus mod. We don't need anything more powerful than the Juno engine, so we'll still be working off of it. But let's try making maybe a fully functional design with a cockpit that that will let us take crew reports. I can't take a crew report while sitting in a command chair. I'm not quite sure why that's the case, but this should let us complete the mission to explore and take the crew report just south of the Space Center. We've got these tail wings. I know I'm making these funny looking small craft, but we really don't need anything more than this at this point. Throw on a few landing gear. I think I probably overdid it with the four rear landing gear on that last craft. So we'll take it a little easier, try to learn from our mistakes. I do want that rear landing gear just behind the center of mass, not too far behind where it gets hard to take off, but too far forward and the craft will be unstable on the runway and it'll tip back. It'll make landing and takeoff a lot harder. And we're just gonna fly south to our destination. This craft seems pretty good to handle. This is actually uh, a good airplane. We might be able to use this same design later for some future contracts. I'm not, I'm not quite sure on that, but I think, I think this will work out for us. We got our crew report. It just needed to be under 18,000 meters. We were well under that. We'll fly back to the runway, hopefully. This thing lands better than that last airplane. I think it will. I think we learned from our mistakes. Just take it easy, bleed off some speed. This thing's rather agile. I, I really like this little airplane. I think I might be using it in the future for some contracts. Looks like we completed our contracts. What have we got available? There are some interesting things here. There is one to storm the hangars. That sounds interesting. Hey, this is Echo3. Thanks for joining me for a modded career mode save. I will see you next time.